Oh, the underside of the suitcase feels very gooey. Hear that? Ew. <laughs> I can, still, so I can still sort of feel it, shit. But anyways, uh, good morning everyone. Um, these are my last few hours here in Brownsville, Texas. Uh, before I start my sophomore year in college, we're packing up shit. I'm hungry as fuck. The plane leaves it. What does the plane leave? No idea. So, shit. Update, uh, the plane leaves at 11, which is two hours, five minutes from now. We thought it was 11.30, we were wrong. We were wrong by half an hour. So now we're fucked. We gotta eat breakfast somewhere that serves fast, somewhere that serves good, because we don't wanna eat shit. Let's see how that goes. Goodbye, room. Ah, uh, fucking yeah, I'm in my, I'm in my dad's pickup truck that just happened to be parked behind Rian in the FJ Cruiser. Ugh. So we gotta move this shit back. Reverse, look both ways, both ways, looking fine. Uh, gotta make. Oh shit, this thing is hard to control. Fucking A, I'm scared. Alright, I'm good for now. Now, everybody has to pack their shit in Rhiannon, move her out for me to park back in and call it a day. I'm so hungry. And it is 9.02. Plane leaves in less than two hours. And we still haven't had breakfast yet. Fuck. Ooh, 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 ooh. But you can never leave. Oh, come on, it just ended? Fuck! Uh, I am not in the happiest of moods right now. I have not slept all night. Uh, not because I was uh, impatient or excited or anything, but literally because I was watching this YouTube channel called Game Grooms where all they do is play random video games. And they're not even trying to pass the game. They're just dicking around, having a good time. Oh, look, there she is. Yes, we're good to go. All right, uh, let's go. Let's get the shit out of here. Oh my God. This thing is so sensitive. If she were a woman, she'd scream with every touch. So in what may just be the most riskiest and ballsiest of moves, uh, we're having breakfast two hours before our flight uh, in the opposite side of Brownsville from the airport. 9.34, the food has just arrived. It's fucking delicious. It's a taco with eggs and a pie. Also known as a prickly pear. Enjoying that pancake, Daniel? So we are at the airport. It is 10 something or other. I got rid of my watch because I want to get rid of all metal things before I have to take them off for inspection because nobody wants it. On the plane, we better not say the T word, better not say the B word, better not say anything that goes. No, because here they take shit seriously. You can't even compliment your friend saying, yo, you the bomb. So that's a good pro tip. Uh, before you go to inspection, you better uh, get rid of all metal items, watches, belts, wallets, phones, whatnot. Uh, you put them in one of your carry-ons. So you don't stand around wasting time like an oaf. And, you know, so things just get, make, you know, just to make things easier for you. Surprise, surprise, we made it on the plane with a good time to spare. There's Brownsville. 
Like how disgusting it looks. My sister uh, brought up, uh, once brought up a point that, uh, yeah, Brownsville isn't too bad of a place, but for some reason everybody likes to talk shit about it. I don't know why. I mean, considering that but we live here, it's, it's what we call home. I mean, it's a nice place. It's a very nice place to live and raise a family in and stuff. Just one of those things people just lo love to bag on their hometowns. But why? Einstein Brothers bagels for the first time. Um, I would show it to you, but I ate it since it was just that damn good. I mean, I could really use a coffee right now, but unfortunately, I don't want to drink one right now because I'm tired as it is, and I just want to sleep on the Boston flight. No, not Boston, Hartford, Hartford, Connecticut. We're flying into Hartford, Connecticut. Um, I, I want to sleep on the next flight, so time could just go like. Sleep is kind of like time traveling. Sort of. This is a fucking maze in the middle of the Dallas airport. I am so lost. What do I do? I'm stuck. Just my luck. Um, I've had a streak of not getting window seats on airplanes for a few years or so. And now that I finally have one, it has to be right on the wing blocking my view by a huge ass percentage <sighs> and I love sitting on the window seat because I like to identify like more or less if I can see any landmarks, highways, roads, islands because I, I, I love that shit, it's geography but that I can actually see from a bird's eye view <sighs> And now this fucking airplane wing won't let me see 
over half of it. Smoking is not allowed at any time. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying smoke detectors in the lavatories may result in a fine. You know, those safety videos actually kind of make me miss the, the flight attendants do their choreographed little dance shit. So that goes straight on the safety features and what to do. Don't do that anymore. Please refer the safety instruction card. Like, to yes, they usually do it with the most boring fine, face in the, the world. Exit but may be behind you. On this airplane, we strangely miss it. Oh my goodness, that's a double decker plane. It's an Australian Qantas. Qantas. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Australian. Hartford. Well, it doesn't really look decent because it's in a fucking airport and everything's all cement and airplanes and stuff. Well, yeah, like I'm still not gonna get over the fact how I just closed my eyes right before takeoff. I opened my eyes, we're already flying. Wow. Yeah, tonight I'm gonna sleep. So what I really love about this place is that it's open 24 hours, the food here is awesome, and it's literally midnight right now, so as you can probably hear, um, early hours draw such an interesting crowd of people. Uh, usually it comes down like after 3 in the morning, I've been here like at that time. It gets pretty chill, we get to talk to people at work here. Uh, their burgers are amazing, their omelets are amazing, their everything is amazing. Oh yeah, by the way, this place is actually like, I don't know if you can see it, it's built out of uh, what used to be a train car. So now they remodeled it to make it look like a restaurant. It's one of the most uh, notable ones here in Worcester. Well, my parents came earlier and uh, did pretty much all the work for me of unpacking, which I sincerely appreciate the gesture, but uh, now I don't know where everything is. 
so yeah, I've still, I've still got to figure out where the fuck they put everything. But whatever, whatever, I'm not complaining. I'm finally here in WPI. School starts on Thursday. It's currently Tuesday. So I still got today and tomorrow to enjoy my last couple days of freedom. I just feel like I should just go through all my classes with balls, full ham, all the effort. Because, I mean, I want to get A's. Fucking A's. I want to see the letter A everywhere on my transcript. So, yeah. Okay, no more fucking around this year. I better practice what I preached in the Gilbert City Classified College Survival Guide video because I've had it with my mediocrity because I know I can do it it's not particularly hard it's just a matter of studying and putting effort into it this is my little section of the room I've got a map of Massachusetts some lucky charms which apparently now have diamonds and this uh, a yin yang that my aunt gave me for my 19th birthday. Let me stand here because it's an awkward ass angle. Okay, I got the yin yang. I got a super cool Zelda poster with all these variations of Link, Legend of Korra, and a dry erase board, but no dry erase markers. So to continue the tour, we got a microwave and a fridge fully stocked with ginger ale and moxie oh and of course milk which I sincerely hope is still fresh because I realized a while back that uh, a the surge protector that the fridge is connected to wasn't turned on so it wasn't even on and even after it was there's this switch right here on the fridge yeah it was an off hopefully this milk is good I'll give it a sip I had some this morning with my lucky charms which is my guilty pleasure for cereal it's not bad I learned from a mistake that I had last year um, Last year, I did the mistake of buying a big-ass gallon, a gallon of milk. Uh, yeah, I obviously wasn't finished to it with it. And then I started tasting it, and, uh. So yeah, the mistake there was, uh, it was way too big for me. Obviously, it's for a family, a group of people. But no, um, it actually expired on me before I finished it. And it tasted disgusting. <laughs> Will not recommend. This is the rest of the room. Uh, that's my roommate's shit. One of them actually brought a Wii U. That's uh, the closet. I've yet to figure out how these doors work. Because the lock to get into here and the lock to get in the room Oh, this is a suite, by the way, an eight-person suite. Um, you have to twist them in opposite direct directions, excuse me. So, this is the common area. Somebody actually brought a TV. I nice of them. Um, somebody actually brought a chair and a lamp for everybody. And a toaster. And my contribution will be the coffee pot with coffee filters but it's bring your own coffee. And I'm gonna share my coffee. <laughs> oh God. I just noticed there's minions on the paper towels. I have a personal grudge against minions. I mean, the Despicable Me movies were good, but minions. So yeah, this is a very nice cozy suite. Um, the walls do look a little blank. I don't know if anybody's gonna do anything about it. My section of the room, I mean, I like it. I like 
I like what I've done, if I do say so myself. Holy shit, I better get going. I better get going. Fuck, 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 fuck. I better get going to a photo club meeting, and I'm an, I'm, I'm an executive member. I am the equipment manager. It starts in five minutes at two o'clock. So, all right, kiddos, take care, get gas.